easily. I've been experimenting with weight loss spells for several years and a couple of things I found have worked out really well and lots of things I found haven't so I'm here to share those. First of all, things that did work were having the timing right, having a real intensity of emotion and doing the work of the spell afterwards. So you know, you do a spell, you still need to do the work. Things that didn't work out so well were overly complicated spells, making bigger sacrifices, anything that required a, a daily maintenance of spell work. Working with other people didn't work out so well for me. Also, doing spells on the internet did not work out so well for me. Self-hypnosis was not very effective for me with weight loss. And then there were a couple hilarious spells that uh, I read about on the internet. I even tried those. Um, one of them was the TP spell. That didn't work out. I have not tried, and I'll tell you about a spell I haven't tried that I think actually is promising. Don't give up so easily. I'm gonna just jump right in. Let's first of all talk about the, the timing of spells. So generally, weight loss spells are, are most effective if they're done in the springtime. And this is because of the landscape of the year, there's a lot of natural support for any health-related spell work in the spring because you're going into the seasons of the year where you're gonna have the best access to the healthiest food, you're gonna have the best weather to go outside and exercise yourself. So, so ever since human beings have farmed, um, this time of year has been good for going forward towards health activities. Uh, and science backs this up. A couple years ago, a friend of mine sent me a stat in the fall that said, on average, you are now the least heavy that you'll be all year. <laughs> so, so for almost everybody, they go through the summer and then right there before the school year, that's when they're, they're at their best. In the spring, uh, May 21st is particularly auspicious for any health-related spell work. So, there's the, the timing in the year. Inside that, the best time of the month to start is going to be during the full moon because any energies that are getting smaller <laughs> are great to start at the full moon because it's, it kind of makes things smaller. Um, the new moon is, is much harder. If you want to build strength and endurance, then I think that a, like a fitness program might be a good one to start at the new moon because you're going to be building up. Another thing that was really important to both, I've had two very effective uh, weight loss spells, and both times a key element of that was that I was very emotionally invested. I, before I even came to the space where I was working, I was completely absorbed with how important this was to me. It was, a, a, it just felt like I was 100% committed and in, in deep emotional need of connecting with myself, connecting with the divine feminine, and and um, having that connection gave me the spark to move forward. So um, I, I think finding whatever is true and authentic in yourself, and we can talk in other videos about what that process is like, but I think that is, that is sort of the key thing that's most needed. Another thing that's really important with spell work is actually doing the work. Like you do the spell, but then you need to do the things to make it possible for the, the spell to manifest. So just because you did a weight loss spell doesn't mean you don't need to learn better nutrition or put attention on your eating. I mean, you don't leave your car unlocked because you did a spell. I mean, you're just asking for trouble. So make it easy for, um, for your spell work to work by giving it what support you're able to do. In my case, uh, the second time I cast the spell, I joined Noom, which I think is a great program. Um, I found it very annoying when I joined it because I, I immediately had to tell them I believed it could work, which I did not at all, but it wouldn't let me sort of move forward in the program without pushing that button. <laughs> so, so I was immediately annoyed, but in the end, um, I just don't really need to believe in things for them to work for me, which is why I do magic, right? <laughs> don't give up so Any spell that has three workings at the core of it is pretty complicated. Whatever framework you have, I feel like you get your framework down, but what you want to do inside that, you want to kind of keep it streamlined and simple so you can be there emotionally, or for me to be there emotionally rather than caught up in, in notes and paperwork and, and who says what when and wondering, oh, did I do it right? Oh, I forgot to put these stones in the water at this time. Does that, is that gonna ruin the spell? That totally sucks. So keep it simple. 
and related to that, working with other people for the same reason I am. So much of my attention was on facilitating their experience that I, I didn't find I could do my own spell work. So I don't do my spell work if I'm facilitating their separate things now. <laughs> One of the things in one of the spells I tried was making an offering and a sacrifice. And I felt like, you know, I did the spell, it didn't really work. So I came back the next month and I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a much more meaningful sacrifice. I'm going to give something that I really care about. And I did that and it still didn't work. So I lost something and, and yet didn't have very effective spell work. So making the sacrifice bigger, that wasn't a useful element for me in weight loss spells. Another interesting thing I tried at one point was doing spell work with somebody over the internet, and that didn't work, and it might not be the internet, it might have still been the facilitating other people issue, but I'm excited to see what can happen over the internet. I'm sure magic workers have found effective things that way. And the other thing that I've tried uh, that really didn't work for me, I, I thought it was working for a while, for like two or three days, it was really effective. It was self-hypnosis, self-hypnosis. And for two or three days, I thought, oh, I'm not gonna wanna eat anything disgusting. And then for two or three days, I thought, well, I can eat these things, but I'll naturally gravitate back. And then after like a month or so, it's like, you know, this hasn't been working at all and I'm sort of leaning on it. It's like the whole face mask thing, like you're still supposed to be safe. But no, I was leaning on this self-hypnosis that wasn't helping me at all. So uh, that was another thing that was bad. This one's hilarious. I just, I, I did it because I thought it was so fun. I, I found a spell on the internet that was, you write your weight loss that you want to lose on a, a rolls of a t of tp and you flush them down the toilet it's supposed to take your weight away with it and i did several variations on that i do my own spin on it and it was totally ineffective but it did crack me up so i think it was it was good for a laugh and then um one spell that i haven't tried that i think actually has some promise to it is super simple is you have to find a skinny person that wants your weight and you make a handshake deal with them. And the reason I think this has some real potential is I could see, you know, that's a decent friendship and I could see those two people influencing each other's eating habits and it could it could actually be effective for four or five pounds or, or whatever, I mean, it depends how much, how long. <laughs> like, you want 60 pounds, I've got it. <laughs> Okay, um, and then I do just want to, before I sign off here, touch on a couple precautions. Like it's, I think it's really important not to get obsessed with weight loss, but to like really be aiming at health. Like I'm just aiming for the healthy zone here. I'm not aiming to get skinny because there are all kinds of dangerous diseases that could come along with a weight loss spell that specifically is just about losing pounds and not about improving your health. I um, mean, you could friggin' get anorexia, you could get, uh, amputated leg oh yeah you'd lose a lot of weight but that's really not what you want so keep the focus on something healthy so that you're not drawn towards extremes good luck with your spells on May 27th that's the most auspicious day so whether it's weight loss spells or healthy work or just a, a commitment to a new you know health program um, go for it and let me know how it goes <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.